What's going on everybody? Welcome to Beyond the Screen. It's your girl Jess and in this video I am going to be talking about Big Brother 19 Battle Back Showdown. Can't even think of what episode number that is right now but it'll be in the title somewhere. I missed a week! A week of Big Brother. If you're getting to this by the time my live video has been taken down, I went to Dubai for my birthday and had some technical difficulties trying to watch Big Brother and keep up with my videos. So I decided to just watch them all, do a live stream real quick, catch everybody up on my opinion, and then we'll just pick back up where I left off because that's the best I can do. I got three kids and a few other channels to think about. I'm doing my best, guys. I'm doing my best. Let's get into it. Battle Back Showdown. Now, Julie said that there was going to be a twist that it wasn't gonna be the same as a battle back in the past. We were bursting to figure out what that twist was gonna be. Now, what it ended up being is that it wasn't a guarantee that somebody was coming back. Mind blown, got these people all hyped up about getting back in the house and you're like, but just kidding. <laughs> because if you suck, if you suck though, nobody's coming back. Sorry. So, okay, that's cool. Whatever. Now, they have to beat each other. Not only that though, the house gets to vote for a house, a current house guest challenger to compete against whoever beats out all the other evictees. The catch is with voting who gets to go compete is, you don't know who they're competing against. So then that makes things kind of tricky because are you sending somebody in that you want to win or are you sending somebody in that you want to lose? Yikes. Now, they had to do like a little pulley maze thingy with a ball. Cody finished first, Cameron came in second, Dominique and Jillian just sucked and they didn't make it, so they went home. Then Cameron and Cody have to do this game where they're like slingshotting balls onto like little flappy things that are supposed to fall over. Now Cody sucked at that at first. He just wasn't getting his rhythm down and Cameron was just dominating and having the time of his life. Plot twist, Cody starts coming back, takes the lead, and then he wins. Cameron, your clutch gene is non-existent, but at least you know you can win a competition. Kind of. Now, Julie informs the house that all this is going on in their backyard and that they all get to vote. Everybody goes with the safe option and votes for Paul. They assume that they don't want the person to come back, which is the majority of the house. Everybody's like, oh crap, Cody's probably gonna come back. Jessica's bursting with joy. Mark's like about to poop his pants. It's just this crazy thing. Now the only person who didn't vote for Paul was Paul because you can't vote for yourself. Cody got to choose what game they got to do, so he chose the maze game because he was good at that one, but he obviously had to do a different maze than the one he did competing the other, competing against the other evictees. He ends up winning. Cody gets to come back into the house. Everybody's sad about it. Well, for the most part, people are sad about it. Mark's taking it really hard though. More than anything because Cody threw him under the bus on his way out of the house, so I'm really interested to see how that goes. A lot of drama happened while Cody was in the house. I don't know. It's going to be a lot to come back from. I did think that it was interesting that just ensured Mark's safety. It was like, you've been good to me. It doesn't matter how he feels. That's all that's going to matter, which could reign true because Cody told Julie that his gameplay depends on what Jessica has to say because she's been there. And when she hugged him to congratulate him and say hi and everything after his win, she was like, don't do anything crazy until I update you on everything that's going on. So I'm interested to see what kind of game they want to play. I feel like they became the villains during Cody's HOH week and just started playing dirty, awful, mean people games. So I'm interested to see if they've learned from that and if they try and have more of a social game and realize that the two of them can't take on the whole house. I don't know, it's gonna be really interesting. We have HOH coming up. What's gonna be interesting that he battles back and then wins HOH. It's gonna be like, the best day ever for Jessica. Coming off of like the total bottom and then her boyfriend comes back and wins HOH like, geez. So I don't know, we're gonna see. I might almost want to see that. I mean, I'm not like, oh my gosh, it's the worst thing ever that Cody came back because I feel like there's still a lot of game to be played and I don't think that he's going to last very long depending on how he decides to come back in the house and play the game. I'm definitely hoping for an HOH competition that's not as strenuous on the body so my girl Christmas can get in there and actually be able to compete. But we're gonna see. Get in those comments. Let me know how you feel about Cody being back and let me know who you would like to see win HOH on Sunday. 
If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As always, I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, God first, God bless.